Hey guys, Demolition134 here. Um, now today, as you can see, I'm going to take a look at Transformers Avengers Fallen Deluxe Class Thrust. Now, Thrust is um, an amazing recolor um, of the original Breakaway mold. Now, I love that mold to start, and the paint scheme on this guy is just taking it for me. It is so amazing, it's so worth getting. Um, it'll definitely not disappoint. Um, but it's actually very G1 faithful as well because these two um, Decepticon symbols also resemble the fans they had in G1. So very awesome. He's got the nice single thruster here. Um, nice purple cockpit. Decepticon symbol here, here, and here. Um, no others. He's got some nice decals on the um, fins here. So yeah, very nice. Nice landing gear as well. Um, the front one rolls and so does this one. You know, the front one only just rolls. Um, it's kind of loose, but... The real ones work just fine. Well, it doesn't roll brilliantly, but you know, when's the jet gonna roll? It's usually gonna be in the air. Um, so, yeah. The general proportions are actually quite decent. Um, I haven't got another figure in vehicle mode at the moment. Oh, yes, I have. have. The only one I've actually got near me is the um, first movie, Bumblebee. No, it's the Revenge of Fallen Bumblebee, actually. Um, you yeah, know, it's kind of out of scale. Because you know, born with a car and is slightly, um, you know, taller. But thrust is longer, and my first thoughts of this guy is that he should have been a Voyager. Um, but I really don't care because they did such a good job on him anyway. Um, so yeah, transformation is the same as breakaway. So you want to pop that out, just lift that to the front like that. You want to just lift these two fins up here, fold that down around here and just split this arm assembly here like that you want to come around here fold that down lift up the cockpit window here you want to fold these wings down to the back here and that tabs on just under there flip down the feet and the heels then we got thrust in robot mode now the robot mode is very nice um, very bulky um, one of my favourite robot modes um, that Hasbro have actually thought of. This time Hasbro did a good job. Um, well, this is one of their better repaints, you know, usually they don't make very good repaints, but this guy is a good job. Right, kudos to the Hasbro t designers to actually make this one. So yeah, the, o the overall colour scheme is kind of like a burgundy, which is fairly thrust accurate, I don't know. Um, I haven't watched G1 in a while. He's got some nice black and red paint apps, the glowing red. Sorry, I've got hiccups. Um, so, yeah. The really nice decals. Um, you know, the only thing that I've got a problem with is that it kind of hinders articulation, even on the breakaway mold as well. Um, I'd like it if these were like on a little ball joint so they could just fall back. Because um, you know, I, I don't know if you've played the Revenge at Fallen game. But you can play as breakaway, and when he's actually moving his arms, they fold back with the arm. So, that was what I would have liked. They could have had a little ball joint on there, just so they could move back and out of the way, fold up. But, you know, yeah, as to his character, it makes him look bulky. And I really like him. Um, so, yeah, quick size comparison. Um, got animated Deluxe Megatron. Um, now, you can see the size differences, you know, Megatron's a lot taller. Um, from the head, so yeah. So yeah, that was my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe some more.